Yeah. This next one's more of a hypothetical. And Becky, I'm going to start with you because um, obviously you're Mr. Manchester United on this podcast. So with the uh, the news of uh, Reguilón to United. Now, in the WhatsApp group, um, when Sevilla were playing United, I said, whatever it takes, after this game is done, United, call, text, email, WhatsApp, Bureau of Facts Madrid, and tell them, look, we want Reguilón. Say, look, we want him. He is an upgrade on what was... He was the best fullback on that pitch by a mile. He was outstanding. I, defensively, okay, he needs a little, you know, little adjustments. But moving forward, I mean, he put some grass between his laces yeah. and his eyes, and he's what United are missing. Um, Romano came out yesterday and said that, uh, or for Richard, here we Romano, go. Yes, um, here we go. Yeah, he, he gives some sort of context on it because United fans have been bombarding him on Twitter. So he said that um, Reguilón has been offered to Manchester United. He didn't expand on it, whether that was a loan, whether it was a sale, whether it was a sale with a buyback clause. So just very quickly, Vecchi, your take on Reguilón. What do you think he would offer United? Yeah, so as you rightly said, you um, called it when United played Sevilla. He was the best fullback on that pitch, albeit I don't know how much competition he had of fullback on that pitch. Yeah. Um, you know, there was only there's only three others on the pitch that he weren't fantastic, so he probably was the best on the pitch. Um, from what I've seen of him, I do rate him. Um, I do like the look of him, and the the move would kind of make sense, right? Mm-hmm. So um, Luke Shaw is he's injured often, right? Um, and you know, Luke Shaw has had that potential for a while in early days to be that left back, but ultimately with injuries comes inconsistency and he's never going to be that guy, right? Mm-hmm. So um, that we definitely need more competition in that full back area. Um, Fabrizio Romano, he's been saying this here we go as people have been nagging him all week long and he seems to think that a deal is there to be done. But the only thing that I think Reese will agree with me on this one as well is when you've got a player that's property of a Madrid or a Barcelona and they don't want him, it always makes me sort of go, hmm, why is that? And I, and I know they've got Marcelo and um, I can't remember the other they've got as well. Yeah, um, there. But I just wonder if he's that good of a young talent, why is he not staying at Madrid? Um, because there's not if they're that good from La Liga, they usually tend to stick in you know, you do get one or two that that they let slip away. Um, and Regulion could be one of those. And, and like I say, he, he does look quite exciting going forward. Defensively, you've highlighted the yeah, end not as great, but what that's 2020 football, that is full-backs, isn't it? You, mm. you want them going forward and you do going back. So it, it is a move that I would back. Um, and it's the, the sort of fee that they're talking, if it's a transfer, is like about 30 million, isn't it? So it's yeah. in today's yeah. market, it's very reasonable price and low risk. So, yeah, United defensively, again, Reese will agree, um, need work. Um, they need more competition. Um, so, yeah, I would back that move. I just always have that question mark of why did Madrid not want to keep him? 